Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Do you think they work on us rolling style, dude? Absolutely. <laughs> Left a brand new DRX at the airport for us. Shout out to Heavy D and Diesel Dave. Really making us feel like we're at home, dude. Okay, guys, we are in Salt Lake City, Utah, home of the Salty Lakes. We're listening to Carrie Underwood, All American Girl. We are driving a brand new Ram TRX with some modifications. I guess it's got pulleys on the supercharger. Whatever, look at the mountains in the distance. Zoom out on the mountain shot. Oh, uh, this is my first time ever in Utah, I'm pretty sure. I don't have, I don't have ever been to Utah before, but basically we had grid life, Colorado, this weekend to drive for Vaughn. So we're like, let's go a little further and go see uh, Heavy D and Diesel Dave out here in uh, Salt Lake. They left a brand new modded TRX at the airport for us because it's one of their giveaway trucks. So they said we could drive it. And uh, let me just give it a little spicy, a little. It's pretty tight. Pretty tight, dude. We're going to meet up, see their shop right now. And then we're going helicoptering today. So, really excited about that. As you guys know, I freaking love helicopters. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I don't talk about them a lot on the channel, but I have a huge passion for aviation, specifically roadcraft helicopters. So, today we get to go on a little helicopter exploration trip. We're going to film a vlog and just enjoy it. It's kind of like a little mini vacation for us before we go to uh, grid life and do some driving giant flag spotting gosh look at the views here dude great good branding crew whatever that is tunics hey guys so i guess we're going camping tonight so we and just in case we see an alien out here in utah we got some f-16 power lines and then we also got some daisy glass slingshot ammunition just in case we see an alien or something yeah though. i don't want to be a caught off guard no. oh frick we are here Look at the Freedom Bus. Frig. Oh, snap. what's up? <laughs> Where is Dave's parking spot? That one? one oh yeah, I'll definitely take that one. I wish this thing did burnouts. <laughs> oh gosh, dang. I only seen this place on the interweb. They got a little front store. We need something like this at the Freedom Factory where you can pull up and buy merch any day of the week. This is cool. Well, frick, dude. This puts my toy collection to shame. This is a heli wagon. Damn, that's sick. That's my favorite toy, actually. Magic so sick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do you think? Oh, she's a beaut. Have you seen one in person? No. Oh, this is my first BO 105 experience. Damn. So, guys, it's a twin turbine helicopter, four blade rotor system. This is an old area ambulance helicopter. This is actually the same helicopter that Red Bull uses for their stunt helicopter. This is a super, super awesome helicopter. So, we're going to rip it today. Shoo, buddy. I gotta try out the headroom. This is cooler than the helicopter. Dude. <laughs> that is sick. I love how high the tail rotor sits. Gosh, look at the width of the tail rotor blades. That thing's got some authority. I'm so excited. All right, I have watched enough videos. I feel I can start this on my own. All right, well, that's <laughs> a bold claim. I feel as though I can do it yeah. without, you know, overheating turbines or anything like that. You might want to keep a close eye on it, though. All right, guys, here we go. We're going for a rip. From you there, tell I'll me how it. involved you want me to be right now. And All right, help. All right, I got it. Battery on. So we would put this igniter on for engine two. So the one thing you want to check oh. before that is rotor brake. Make sure it's off. So. It's yep. off. You're good. The throttles are up here. So yep, the throttles are up here. This. And then basically, it, when it rolls the detent, it just goes right there. All right, so now we're doing engine two first. Yep. Keep holding it and then throw it. Watch the detent. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. Good. Now I'll have to start until 60. Nice. Oh, I love the sound of the turbine. <laughs> Cycle Yeah, this is a great, this is a fun opportunity right here. I'm glad you uh, researched it. And then it'll shoot past it, then you'll bring it back to it. Right there's the open. Alright, so then generator off.
She's bad, dude. She's bad to the bone. Wow, I think she has some turn radius, too. So we're riding out to the Blind Frog Ranch. About 140 clicks south of here. Ooh, nice clicks. That sounded, <laughs> that sounded awesome. That sounded badass. Uh, breaker Breaker Salt Shaker. I'm going by Midnight Cobra the rest of the day. This here's an EC-130. EC-130. <laughs> totally different than that. It would be totally different for a pilot that flies on a normal like counter rotating because the power pedal is swapped. So like there's all this muscle memory in flying helicopters, mm -hmm. but it would be backwards between these two. It was a sheriff ship, right? It was, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, we just, I mean, new paint on the it's outside, like a by a tail number that I like. <laughs> I like that. It's it cool. does it's look like a Ferrari. Like that was the goal. Oh, really? This is the stuff that they're putting in like Gulfstream's galleys now. <laughs> yeah. It's out here helicoptering. Dude, that ride was so comfortable, so smooth. Yeah, I mean, that's like the Cadillac of helicopters. Yeah, no kidding. This old sporty unit, though. How the, how the rain do when... Oh, just a little, just a little bit of rain through the doors, you know? Oh, okay. What doors? Yeah. It was awesome. All right, guys, so we are at Blind Frog Ranch, right? And basically, we are going to go see this uh, gaping hole in the ground. Caves. There's apparently that Spanish have gold. Spanish gold inside them. I guess they opened it up, a bunch of blind frogs came out, like albino frogs, and that's how this all came to be. So, look at the elevation, 7,100 feet. Helicopters were like, dude, this is outrageous. Okay, so guys, here's the situation. We're in the middle of a dry area. These guys dug a hole based on some satellite images. A bunch of water came out, a bunch of blind frogs came out of this hole. Apparently, there's hidden gold that someone put in there, and they're trying to find it. Loading up this wood. About to head back to the uh, helicopters and start a campfire, set up the beds, and watch some UFOs. All right, good morning, fellas. Slept in the back of the helicopter last night. We got Dave over here in a hammock. A lot of storage in this puppy. <laughs> There's Al. <laughs> These cows are making some noise. Morning, sweetheart. Good morning. Let me give you a little swing here. Mm -hmm. There you go.
Dave. Thanks for having us out, dude. Yeah, man. Right into Colorado. Nice work. No ghosts, but lots of cool scenery. Yeah. yeah, we didn't see any uh, aliens, nothing like that. Oh. Had a safe flight back. Definitely had some fun. And uh, it was good to get out here and visit you. Absolutely. And see the place. So. Nice to return a little bit of the favor. Yeah. You let us play with your toys. Yeah. Yeah, it was one time. So I think uh, I think I, I might be doing a giveaway too soon. Like I, I really, you know, I really want to try. I've been wait, holding out for a while. We're good influences on you. Yeah. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Uncle. Still talking to me. <laughs> Uncle Dave, what do you got going today? You know, today I'm going to take you back to the airport and bid farewell. Then I'm going to go hang out with my buddies. The aliens? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. We are heading to Colorado for Grid Life. But thanks for watching New Day. We will freaking see you later.